There aren't many places left in uh, North America, let alone Winnipeg, that are considered authentic diners. Uh, authentic diner has to have a counter, has to be interaction between the proprietor and the people who come, clientele, and the food has to be made from scratch and there has to be a degree of character about the place. And as you can see, the wagon wheel has all those elements. Some things can't last forever. Most things don't last forever. And Friday, this place is closing. It's a sad kind of thing, but you know, like I say, life goes on, you know, nothing lasts forever and, and, uh, and we'll, we'll survive. I survive all this time, you know, raising my three kids by myself pretty much, you know, working here. You don't make a lot of money, but it was so nice to come to work for Louis and, and his wife, his kids, they, they make you feel home. And so and become my my home as well, you know, the same way customers feel about it, you know. All my nice customers, personalities of, of different kinds, but you get to know them. And I will say uh, to be friendly with people and they're back to you. I will I will miss that a lot. I mean, I, I like the fact that this block is being redeveloped and that there's progress and money coming into the downtown. That's a good thing. But I am sorry that part of our, our urban heritage is being lost. Because even if they do reopen this somewhere else, which is, again, very unlikely but possible still, it won't be the same. It will be you know, different tables and different walls, and they won't have that history. But this place is steeped in history. And every diner that closes is another loss for our community. Exactly. Uh, from the north I need uh, 11 clubhouses, three on white. I had my first clubhouse here when I was, uh, I believe, 15, 14 or 15. I'm 58 now, so you do the math. It's real. It's real turkey. It's not turkey loaf. It's real bacon. It's real. <laughs> Oh, the freshness of it, you know, and the, and the size. I mean, you can't get a meal, like you say, under $12 on either of the city. And this sandwich is, what, $7, $8? And it's fresh turkey, and it's real bacon, and, you know, it's piled high. It's a great sandwich. Well, I think they should have made a, a space for her in the new hotel. That's what I think. I think it was unfair that they just took out an institution. A doctor's office, you can move. You can move a, a, a pharmacist. You can't really move an institution because of the cost of doing that. Franny is a small business owner, I am as well, and the cost of doing things is it's a lot of money. These big shots, these big wigs come in and they slam down the money on the table and everything. They don't think about the small people and the, and the institution that we're losing now. This is a big loss. When this is gone, it's gone. I mean, great that we're coming here today for a sandwich. That's the end of Wagon Wheel, it'll be the end. I'm very sad about it. Where am I gonna go to get a a reasonable meal at that cost. And the freshness, you're not gonna be able to do it.